Turkey has been an important ally to the United States for years. But recently, different views on how to fight ISIS in Syria, on human rights, and on a number of other issues have driven a wedge into that relationship. Judy Woodruff is in New York, and late today she spoke with Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Judy? William, yes, uh, I'm in New York, and I just finished moments ago a lengthy interview with President Erdogan uh, on a number of subjects. But what I think uh, is maybe of greatest interest is when I asked him about the report today, again, this is a moment of tension and a season of tension between the U.S. and Turkey, a report today that the Trump administration has decided it will not go forward with selling guns and other weapons to President Erdogan's presidential guards. Uh, in a, a surprising twist, President Erdogan said uh, this didn't make sense because he claimed that the U.S. has been giving weapons to terrorists in Syria. And by that, he was referring to the anti-ISIS, uh, Kurdish anti-ISIS groups. Let's listen. We need to fight these terrorists with the United States. And when we are not able to acquire those weapons, from the United States. Why are you giving those weapons to the terrorists is the question that we ask our friends in the United States. And when these questions are not answered, we're feeling sorry as the strategic partners to the U.S. Those are some pretty tough words about U.S. foreign policy. Uh, I know there was also a recent announcement last week that the Turks had purchased surface-to-air missiles from the Russians, uh, Turkey being a NATO member, Russia being a, a pretty strong enemy of NATO. Did you ask the president about that, and what, what did he say? I did, William. This has raised the hackles, as you can imagine, of other NATO members uh, in Europe uh, and in the United States. Questions about where does Turkey's loyalty really lie if it's uh, cutting this $2.5 billion deal to buy these uh, surface-to-air missiles. President Erdogan's response is that it was a logical thing to do. Uh, he said, over time, we've been asking other NATO countries for weapons. They haven't been willing to sell them to us. He said the United States won't even sell us drones. Uh, he said we've had that request in for a number of years. So he said it was only natural that we would turn to the Russians. And I tried to pin him down, if you will, a little bit about where his loyalty really lies. Is it with NATO and the West? Or is it with Russia? And his answer was essentially uh, it, neither one, both, both and neither, uh, that we have to do what's, what's best for Turkey. Uh, as I said, we covered a lot in this interview, and we're going to be uh, bringing our, uh, our NewsHour viewers uh, much more of it tomorrow night. All right. Judy Woodruff from New York, thank you so much.